Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Let's begin our celebration by first calling to mind all our sins and all our failures and ask God for forgiveness and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of art, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the first book of Samuel. During the time young Samuel was minister to the Lord under Eli, a revelation of the Lord was uncommon and vision infrequent. One day, Eli was asleep in his usual place. His eyes had lately grown so weak that he could not see. The lamp of God was not yet extinguished and Samuel was sleeping in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was. The Lord called Samuel who answered, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. I did not call you. Eli said, Go back to sleep. So he went back to sleep. Again, the Lord called Samuel, who rose and went to Eli. Here I am, he said. You called me. But Eli answered, I did not call you, my son. Go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was not familiar with the Lord, because the Lord had not revealed anything to him as yet. The Lord called Samuel again for the third time, getting up and going to Eli. He said, Here I am. You called me. Then Eli understood that the Lord was calling the youth. So Eli said to Samuel, Go to sleep, and if you are called, reply, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. When Samuel went to sleep in his place, the Lord came and revealed his presence, calling out as before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. Samuel grew up, and the Lord was with him, not permitting any word of his to be without effect. Thus all Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, came to know 
that Samuel was an accredited prophet of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and, and he stood toward me and heard my cry. Bless the man who makes the Lord his trust, who turns not to idolatry or to those who stray after falsehood. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I announce your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O oh Lord, know. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and held her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill, are possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Napakaganda ng ating first reading tungkol kay uh, Sam, Samuel ba? Kay Samuel na tinatawag ng Panginoon. Hmm? Si Samuel. Tinatawag at uh, nauna ay naririnig niya lang tawag pero hindi niya malamang kung sino akala niya si Eli yung nag-aalaga sa kanya. Pero nung sinabihan siya, uh, sa pangatlong beses na pagtawag ng Panginoon, sinabi niya, Here I am. Um, Here I am. Uh, let, I come to do your will. Or, or let me, let me, uh, you call me. Uh, your servant is listening. Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. So, nagkaroon na ng encounter, no? nagkaroon na ng conversation between Samuel and the Lord. So, nalaman ni Samuel kung ano yung dapat, o at least inaalam niya 
kung anong pinapagawa sa kanya ng Panginoon. Sa gospel naman kasi, parang medyo halos katugma dahil sa gospel naman, pinagaling ni Jesus yung mother-in-law ni Simon. Pinagaling right away, no? as soon as namalaman ni Jesus na may sakit yung mother-in-law ni Simon, pinagaling ka agad. Agad-agad. Pinagaling. And yun namang mother-in-law, as soon as gumaling, started to work and care for them and waited on them. Inalagaan sila, inasikaso sila. Alam niya agad. Alam niya kung ano yung kanyang papel sa buhay. Mag-alaga ng pamamahay, mag-entertain ng bisita, mag-alaga sa kanyang mga anak. Alam niya yung kanyang papel sa buhay. She knew her role in life. She knew her mission to care for her household. Alam niya. At ginawa niya kaagad. Siguro pwede natin tanong yung ating sarili. Tay ba? Ginagawa ba natin agad, immediately? Do we immediately respond to the needs of people around us? Do we immediately care for others when that presents itself? No, kapag merong kailangan gawin, <clears throat> not necessarily for ourselves, but for other people, hindi ba tayo nagpapadelay-delay pa? Do we do it immediately? Si Mother in ni Simon, binigyan tayo ng example. Ganun din si Samuel, na gustong-gustong marinig. Ano ba talagang gusto mo, Lord? Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. Um, tuwing, nung, pagdating nung gabi, si Jesus, pagdating nung gabi, pinag, sige pa rin ng pagdadala ng mga may sakit sa kanya, and she kept on curing their diseases and driving out demons. Siya rin. Pagaling siya ng heal siya ng heal ng mga tao at pinapalis yung mga demons. He had compassion for the sick. Hmm? He had compassion for the sick. Minsan nakakataka, no? bakit pa? Ano kayong, ano kayong message ng Panginoon sa atin kung bakit yung pandemic nandito pa sa atin ngayon? Ano? Nakaisang taon na tayo, di ba? So ano kayong message? Meron siguro malamang, meron niyang message sa bawat isa sa atin, hindi lang as a, as a whole generation. But even individually, each family, each nation, each person, meron siguro message. Ano kaya ang sinasabi ng Panginoon sa atin? Pwede nating i-echo yung sinabi ni Samuel. Speak, Lord. Tell me your message. For your servant is listening. Ano bang ba message mo, Lord, sa pandemic na ito? Bakit nandito pa hanggang ngayon? Ano bang ba message? Pagkatapos ng mahabang araw ni Jesus, pagkatapos niya magpapapagaling, mag-drive out ang demons, magturo, mag-preach, gumising pa siya ng maaga para magdasal. Dahil yun na yung quiet time. Pagising sa umaga, quiet time niya. So, nagdasal siya. But even then, even then, maya-maya lang, hindi pa siya tumatagal sa pagdarasal. Nandiyan na yung mga apostles, hinahanap. Tasa ka na! Tagal na namin ni ko hinahanap. Meron na namang mga gusto magpagaling, <clears throat> mga may, may, may sakit. And Jesus himself said, no, for this I have come. Kahit si Jesus, no, alam niya kung ano yung kanyang papel sa buhay, kung ano yung papel sa lupa, ano kanyang misyon sa lupa, to preach, magturo, to heal, magpagaling ng mga may sakit, hindi lang na physical illness but even spiritual illness. And to drive out demons, palisin yung mga masasamang espiritu, hindi lang demonyo, kundi mga ating mga temptations, ating mga um, bad or selfish uh, thoughts, no? alisin din yung mga yan. Alam din ni Jesus yung kanyang mission sa buhay. So siguro pwede rin natin tanongin yung ating sarili, tayo, ako, alam ko ba ang mission ko sa buhay? In a way, may konti kalinawan na sa akin, no? Kasi naging pare ako sa kabila na aking maraming pagkukulang, maraming pagkakamali, pare pa rin ako. So siguro, hindi lang siguro, oh, I'm almost sure, ito na yung mission ko sa buhay, maging pare, mag, uh, mag, mag-preach at mag, uh, magpaliwanag ng, ng mga hindi maintindihan ng mga tao tungkol sa religion, tungkol sa faith, 
hanapin ang Diyos sa buhay nila. Yun ang papel ko. Yun ang mission ko. Kayo, naisip nyo na ba yung mission ninyo sa buhay? Hindi lang naman siguro magkaroon ng anak, magkaroon ng pamilya. Anong klaseng anak? Anong klaseng pamilya? Anong klaseng tatay ka o nanay ka? Anong klaseng doktor ka o engineer ka? Anong klaseng politician ka o police? Anong klase? How can you fulfill the will of God as an engineer, or as a doctor, or as a business person? Paano mo matutupad ang, pan- ang pangarap, ang panaginip ng Diyos para sa iyo? How can you fulfill God's dream for you? Yun yung mission natin. At araw-araw siguro dapat tinatanong natin yan. Lord, ano bang gusto mong paggawa sa akin? Today, ano bang gusto mong paggawa sa akin ngayon? Or for the rest of my life, sa basak pangka, pangbalayo, no? for the long term, ano bang gusto mong paggawa sa akin, Lord? Sana naman kasi hindi lang yung sarili natin na inaatupag natin. Ano? Sana katulad ng mother-in-law, na as soon as she was healthy, she started waiting on the people. Sana katulad ni Jesus, na kahit sa kahit buong araw, walang ginawa ko di magturo, magpagaling, mag-drive out ang demons at magdesal. Sana tayo din. Malaman din natin yung ating mission sa buhay. Sa mission araw-araw at sa buong buhay natin. Hindi automatic darating. Kaya magandang example ni Samuel, nagtatanong sa pagdarasal natin, tinatanong natin, Speak, Lord! Your servant is listening. Here I am. Speak, Lord. Tell me what to do. Ano ba yung dapat ko? Ano ba yung gusto mo na gawin ko sa araw na ito? Ano ba yung gusto mo na gawin ko sa buong buhay ko? Ano ba ang gusto mong gawin ko as a father, as a doctor, as a mother, as a business person? Ano ba ang gusto mong gawin? Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. Let us all stand now. Like the people who brought to Jesus all who were sick or possessed by demons, we commend to our Heavenly Father all who are filled with pain and sorrow and in need of healing love. After each petition, we say, Lord of compassion, deliver us. Lord of compassion, deliver us that the church may always rely on the Lord in trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of compassion, deliver us. That the Lord may give hope and encouragement to the starving people of the world, especially those who are unjustly deprived of food, clothing, or freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of compassion, deliver us. That those who suffer from depression and anxiety may find in Christ a sure anchor and refuge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of compassion, deliver us. That those suffering through illness and who find, find life an intolerable burden may see Jesus in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of compassion, deliver us that the dead and those who mourn their loss may find hope and comfort in the resurrection of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of compassion, deliver us. Let us continue to pray for, for na sana matapos na yung pandemic no? sa buong mundo. And we also pray for a smooth, peaceful, and honest election uh, this, this year. We pray to the Lord. Lord of compassion, deliver us. We pray for your own personal intentions and for the special intentions of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord of compassion, deliver us. Almighty Father, watch over your family, protect us, and keep us in your care, for all our hope is in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us.
First, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <coughs> Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. 
Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, the genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord, let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. Sana po ay continue natin ipagdasal ang ating bayan, buong mundo, para matapos na sana yung pandemic. At sana din ay pagdasal din natin yung darating na elections para maging siyang peaceful and smooth and honest. At pagdasal natin ang sarili natin para matanggap natin, mabukas natin ng isip at puso natin sa Espiritu Santo, sa guidance ng Holy Spirit para mahalal natin o maboto natin kung sino yung nararapat para sa tamang posisyon. Hindi yung kung sino yung malamang mananalo o kung sino yung malakas magbigay, kundi kung sino yung nararapat, mas effective para sa posisyon na pag natin. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. We go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We shall now bless the sick and pray for your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.